In the 5e instructional model, evaluation occurs throughout the learning sequence. Teachers continually monitor student progress and students are encouraged to reflect on their own understanding. Teachers should check for understanding in each phase of the cycle to gauge student progress. Ongoing assessment allows teachers to guide and support students' learning and provide them with opportunities to refine and revise their thinking. At the end of the learning sequence, a summative evaluation or experience may be used to formally evaluate learning outcomes. There are many ways teachers can provide ongoing assessment of student progress. Spontaneous assessments, such as this one, allow teachers to see how students are feeling about their learning at any particular time. So one thing I want to do, I want to check for understanding before we move on to our next activity. On a scale from one to four, one being, I have no clue what's going on, I don't even know why I'm here. Four being, I am an expert, and I can probably teach this to, to somebody else. Throw up your numbers. Informal written assessments, like this exit ticket, can be used at the end of an activity or phase to check progress. Good, so on your notebook paper, as we get ready to close, uh, we're gonna do your exit ticket. I want you to give me three reasons or circumstances for the courts to practice judicial activism. Give me three reasons the courts should use ju uh, judicial activism. Um, there isn't a right or wrong, I wanna see where you all are. And then I want you to give me two circumstances or reasons the court should be re restrained. Yes, so you're gonna give me three reasons why the court should be activists. Three, two reasons why they should be restrained, and one reason that you one give me one court court case you agree with. Here we see the music teacher asking his students to reflect on what they've learned by returning to their initial ideas from the beginning of the lesson. Cool. And as those are downloading, I want you to finish the last part of your tip of the iceberg handout with a little bit more reflection on your understanding of loops at this point and practical uses of loops, experimental uses of loops. Just write some reflection about what you think or what you've experienced. Ongoing assessment allows teachers to give students informal feedback in a timely manner to guide their learning. When this happens, Assessment becomes part of the learning process and helps students clarify and construct new knowledge. Peer feedback can also be part of the learning process if students are allowed to collaborate and interact with one another as they explore and attempt to explain new ideas. So, would it just depend on, on the, case the cases that they're dealing yeah. with? Because it could be both. On this one, so we're leaning more traditional restraint, right? Yeah, in a way, because their their interpretation of the law without violating people's rights, and then at the same time, it's activism because they're dealing with social issues. At the end of the learning sequence, it's important to assess knowledge and abilities that students have acquired. There are many ways to evaluate final understanding, such as application activities, presentations, written reflections traditional tests, or other products. Summative assessments also provide one more opportunity for students to think in new ways about what they have learned. So on the left, I want you to jot some things down of what you used to know. Think about before the lesson. What did you used to know about decay? Not just anything in life, we're talking about decay, right? Exponentials. And then on the right, after we've gone through all this, I want you to put what you know now. What are some things that you learned that you didn't know before? Ongoing assessment is essential for supporting students and taking control of their own learning through the use of continuous feedback and reflection. Being able to write a 5e lesson um, it was challenging at first, but what it's allowed me to do as a teacher is to really reflect on what it is that I give my student. It has allowed me to look at how in-depth I need to go with the topic. It's allowed me to kind of think outside of the box. I just looking at these lessons, writing them, um, executing them, and really just kind of studying them has really helped me grow as a teacher.